guys welcome to another video we are talking about this bad boy today which a few of you have seen in the background of videos that i've done recently and you're like you've not spoken about that where does that come from when did you get it is it worth it please do a review okay so here's the thing this is the diorama it is the is it a clutch or is it a wallet on a chain i actually think it comes up as a clutch but it's sort of like in that borderline territory where it could be either i'm actually going to compare it to this this is the Mistior. This is the Diorama. They are both clutch bags, both really similar money. Actually, each one has got its pros and its cons associated to it. And this is obviously like a slightly newer design. So anyway, I thought I'd talk about them both. Starting with the Diorama, I wanted something that I could wear to like on an evening out, or I actually wanted it specifically for a party that I was going to at the time. But equally, I feel that with the silver, it's fresh enough that it's the sort of thing you could wear into spring, even in the day with, you know, like a, like a light colored dress or something like that. It's definitely the sort of thing that's quite versatile. It's a fairly slim looking bag, as you can see there. On the inside of the bag, and this is some of the things that I liked about it. It's got a front section pocket where you could put maybe a credit card or something that you just want to grab hold of really quickly. Something thin, maybe like a note, some money. Then on the inside, it's got a zip compartment. And then further on the inside there, this particular bag is lined with a navy type leather. It's got a couple of sections for a credit card, but then it's got quite, I say quite a big open section. I'm just gonna show you some of the things you can fit in it. Now I have got an iPhone 6, it's not the 6 Plus. You probably could actually get a 6 Plus in there, but I've got a, a 6 with quite a bulky case on it fits in no problem then this is the kind of thing that i'd also use with this bag just um a card holder that would that slides in quite easily and then it's pretty good because at the front it's got a zip section so you can zip away anything that you you know you want to keep zipped up and safe it's a really good size for an evening out if you don't want to carry too much stuff with you or if you're just generally someone who has a couple of credit cards maybe a phone with you and a lipstick it fits all of those things in pretty easily the actual outside of the bag's really good as well it's robust it doesn't bend this is one thing that i'm really into with bags i like bags that have got a structure and a shape but the, but bags that hold that structure and shape and a really good example is do you remember the Prada bag that I had a couple of years ago? There was a, there was like a Prada Saffiano tote bag that I had and I bought it because I liked the structure. But as soon as I got it, the bottom started sagging and the shape started to, to lose its sort of finesse. This is the chain handle that attaches to it. It feels really robust and really heavy. Now I say that because on the Diorama, the medium and the large size, I was looking at that the other day actually. And they've hollowed out the handle on that. So when you pick it up, the handle feels really lightweight. And I don't know why, there's something, there is something to be said for items when they feel heavy, they sort of feel more premium as such. And that handle, when I lifted the handle on the, on the medium and the large size, I was like, what? And then I looked at it and they'd hollowed them out. This is really, really nice and heavy, but you don't have to wear the chain with it. So that's completely up to you. Now, just quickly for some measurements, I've got my ruler. This is 19 centimeters wide and it is about 12 centimeters tall i would not normally have gone for a wallet on a chain let me explain you know the chanel wallet on a chains i've looked at them before but because that literally is quite a flat wallet i've always thought to myself i don't know how much i'd use that because when do i go out with nothing but a wallet normally i want to be able to fit my phone in it which i think you can in those but i normally want to be able to take a little bit more than that maybe like a powder compact and so this is good because it's got that extra it's got that extra space it's sort of i feel like it's somewhere in between a clutch bag and a wallet on a chain i think on the website this is actually described as a as a clutch bag so i could be totally off here but i think that if you're looking at this and you're going i like it but where would I use it? I think definitely want to say it's not quite a bag, but it's definitely more than a wallet. So it is something that's quite good to consider if you go out a lot in the evenings or you just don't tend to carry a lot of stuff around with you and you want a bag that let's face it is under the 1200 pounds mark. This was a thousand and fifty pounds. So that's the Diorama. Now let's compare it to the Misty Or. This is the Misty Or Promenade bag. I actually question whether they're still going to continue doing this because I just went on the website now to find out how much this is at the moment and I couldn't find it on there. Although when you search for it, you can still, it, you can see it's still on, it's still on there. It just won't let you look at the product. So I feel like maybe they're going to discontinue it, but whatever. It's still a stunning bag. I love this bag so much and I, it's a good comparison. The Misty Ore is slightly wider. Can you see it's slightly wider than the Dior Armour? 
you can, I feel like you can get more in this. It, this is definitely, this is sort of like a hybrid wallet on a chain. Is it a, is it a wallet on a chain or is it a clutch? This is definitely a clutch bag, but there's some really cool features with it. Exactly like the Diorama, it has a chain handle that you can remove. The only difference is on this, on the shoulder piece that goes over, it's got a, a piece of fabric or leather or whatever the bag is made out of. On the back, it has got a sort of little pouch so that if you wanna put anything in there without having to open up the whole bag, you could maybe put your phone in there. That would be a really good, great way of putting it. On the inside of the bag, this is the good thing about it. Now the Diorama does have a couple of pockets for if you wanna put credit cards in, but the Miss Dior has got a whole proper card section. Can you see that? It's almost like they've taken the inside of your wallet and they've built it inside the bag, which is a really great thing. Honestly, this bag, if you are someone who is into smaller bags, but you like to be able to carry more than just your phone and your wallet with you, you want some like makeup items and to be able to throw your keys in there as well, this is a good item to go with. Both of these bags are available in loads of different colors, in loads of different finishes. As you can tell, I was having a metallic day when I looked at both of these, but if you want something that's more classic, like a black or a nude or like a gray or something like that, both of them are available in that, including patent as well. This was 1,050 pounds. This, I seem to recall, I think it was either 1,200 or it's 1,150. Definitely both of them under the £1,200 mark. Both of them very classic, both of them very pretty, but also both of them very functional. I hope you've enjoyed this video and if either of these bags you've been considering, maybe this video has given you a bit of information about whether it's right for you, whether you even like either of them. Thank you again. Come and join me in another video. I'm going to link to them at the end. Hopefully I will see you in a few minutes.